Run for the Song podcast. Um, I suppose I, I always considered myself like a you know heavy heavy drinker, really. But but it was always that way. I mean, it's just how it was where I grew up. You know, you you sort of went drinking after work and hmm. and had a couple of pints after work, and that's what I was normal. And but there was a point where um, it became when I was on tour and my personal life was falling into bits where I really sort of dove into that. And then when I couldn't drink anymore, um, I'd be on, I'd be looking for the Coke and so I'd be on the Coke and then I'd be drinking more. And then it was just like every day, um, for about two years for that, the whole of the post orgasmic chill tour, basically. Oh, wow. I was, sort of, I was crawling into bed at 10 o'clock in the morning from the crew boss getting onto our bus just before everybody woke up and um, and just pretending like I'd had a good night's sleep. And I was in this world of pain, this world of sort of addiction that I couldn't stop, I couldn't talk about, I had no one to talk to about it and, and my personal life was falling to bits. So um, yeah, it was absolutely horrendous. And it all came to a head in London in, in 2000, uh, where I had a, a big part, a big 30th birthday party in my place, and um, and uh, I rang, I think I, I rang Skin, and I, I was clearly, you know, three sheets to the wind, and God, I have no idea what I was saying, and um, uh, and she basically, you know, read me the riot act and said, you know, because Robbie, the first drummer, had left. Because you know there was there was quite a lot of there was a bit of a booze problem there as well. So they sort of said, you know, you can't you can't do this. It like it doesn't doesn't work with us. It doesn't work with this band, you know, and what we want to achieve. And um, so he said, well, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do, and, and he left. And so I joined, and yeah. a few years later, I had the same sort of struggles. Oh, but um, she sort of rang me and said, you know, you can't you can't do this you can't sort of be in this band and act that way. So sort it out or you're out kind of thing. And 